today I'm in social work at Fordham University so that I can tell these women who's incarcerated, who have no hope, who live in darkness, that there's a light at the end of this tunnel. You have to go after it. All my research is geared towards incarceration, so I do get a lot of oohs and ahs, like, wow, why is she talking about that? Why is that important? And then when I share my story, because I share my story with most of my classmates, they're astounded. They're like, what? You went from that and you're here with us? And it's very good that they learned this because now there are people who want to assist women in prison, who want to help women in prison, who want to know more about women in prison. So I think me sharing my story with those you know, who never even thought a woman was in prison, would be in school, has helped a lot of other uh, people who are in the profession. The reason I do more than I have to do for my clients is because you become attached to them. They're a part of your life. I would, um, I would go beyond what's necessary for my clients. I fight for my clients at my job because they need certain things. And that's the reason why I went to Fordham, is to fight for clients, to make sure that people who are underdeserved get what's necessary for them. Yes, it's strenuous. Yes, Saturdays and Sundays I get calls from clients to help do certain things. Yes, I go to the welfare with clients and I go to the prison system with clients and I go to court with clients. But the satisfaction that comes after that, a client hugging you and saying thank you is more rewarding than anything you'll ever understand. Yeah. <laughs>